Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I have some amazing news on the Dell S2721 DGF 1440p monitor. Now we all know the issue that we cannot pass a 4K signal on this monitor either through a PS5 or Xbox Series S or X or any other device. But today I have found the solution. So before we begin, let's give a big shout out to Snake AK. He is the one that commented on a separate video and informed me that this works for his PlayStation 5. Now, as you all know, I have been looking how to do this since last year, since earlier in the year. But as I play on different monitors, especially the LG 27G N950, that's a native 4K monitor. And over the holidays, everything was out of stock. So any EDID switch or anything else wasn't attainable to me. And I can confirm here, it does work 100%. So I just want to give out a shout out and I honestly thank you Snake AK as this will help many people who have this monitor that are, were wishing to be able to have that 4K signal. Now we don't have to buy another monitor because this monitor can handle everything we need to throw at it. Of course with a couple of caveats on the PlayStation 5 and that clarity on the Xbox. So again thank you Snake AK for everything you've done for this channel as this tremendously helps many people. And that's the whole point of this video, that's the whole point of this channel is to help you make an awesome buying decision and I truly love and appreciate every single person in prior videos with the Dell S3220 DGF and the Dell S2721 DGF monitors. I honestly sincerely thank you and I appreciate you for helping this channel as this I know will help many people and it'll make a lot of people save money because they don't have to buy a 4K or a different kind of monitor to achieve a better picture on their new PlayStation 5 or other consoles. And please leave a like on this video and I'm gonna put his name on the bottom on a comment, please hit that like. It's like giving him a high five to show him how much we appreciate this information as it will help many people. So please do that for me as a favor. I'm gonna put his name in the comments, give him a like because I truly, truly, honestly appreciate it. The Ivanlac HDMI EDID emulator pass-through third generation premium aluminum eliminated emulator adapter. Wow, that's a long name. <laughs> and it is a 4K 60 hertz EDID emulator. Now in this video, I will be showing you all the things I've gone through with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. But it will be a long video, so please see the description below if you do want more info on this device. But I do recommend you seeing the whole video because I do run into some issues and you can see exactly what I have to do on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. But long story short, this device now allows you to run a 4K signal from the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series S or X at 4K to the monitor. Now, you don't need this for the Xbox because the Xbox already has a built-in scaler. It'll scale 1440p perfectly at 120Hz, so I don't recommend this for the Xbox unless you truly want a 4K signal which does look clearer than 1440p from what I was seeing, especially on Netflix or YouTube. And there is a noticeable difference in clarity but again, I don't recommend it for the Xbox as the Xbox does it all with this monitor. This monitor is actually perfect for the Xbox, but now we run into the PlayStation 5, which previously we can only run it at 1080p 120Hz or 1080p 60Hz when the game is not running at 120Hz. That's the issue with many monitors, and I believe this switch, just like the Dell S2721 DGF, it would work like the Alienware AW2721D among other very expensive monitors that cannot pass a 4K signal through the monitor. Now they can do 1440p 120Hz or 1080p 120Hz, but the 4K signal, many monitors cannot do it. An example, like the Samsung Odyssey G7, they needed an update to be able to receive a 4K signal. So not all monitors can do it, not even the expensive ones, but this little device can help you achieve that goal. Now again with the PlayStation 5, you are able to get a 4K signal. I do show gameplay here, and even if you leave it at a 4K 60Hz signal, when you play Cold War, that's a 1080p 120Hz game, the system will automatically switch to 1080p 120Hz through this pass-through. So that's an awesome feature because you don't have to be disconnecting and reconnecting if you want to play a 120Hz game. The only issue now is that if you want to watch Netflix or YouTube, Sony forces you to have the HTCP toggle on to be able to view that content. And I'll show you in the video how and what it shows. So unfortunately for media, you're gonna to have to remove this pass-through and connect it directly to watch that media. But again, then it'll kick you down to 1080p. You lose the 4K and you do lose the crispiness 
it is drastically reduced. So that's unfortunate right now with this device, among I'm sure other devices that can't do that because it's a Sony thing. But on the Xbox, you can. That's the cool thing. On the Xbox, you can watch Netflix and YouTube, and I do show that it is able to be toggled in the menu. And actually on the app, you can see it's 4K, looks beautiful. But on the Xbox, it does not go from 4K 60 down to 1440p or 1080p 120. It doesn't automatically switch like the PlayStation. I believe it's just a way of the, how they do that 120 hertz on the Xbox currently right now. Well, at the menu, it's not running at 120 hertz. The reason why I know that is because when you switch into the Cold War menu and you start up the game, it flashes, right? That's everyone's TV system, TV monitor. That's everyone's TV or monitor. It just flashes and you know it goes into 120 hertz mode. Same thing with PlayStation. When it goes into performance mode, it flashes and it goes into 120 hertz. So we know when the 120 hertz kicks in. With the PlayStation, like I said earlier, it does flash and it goes into 120 hertz mode. I, I do show that in the video. But on the Xbox, it doesn't flash. It just stays at 4K 60. It does not go to 120 hertz mode. It says 120 hertz is disabled, but ray tracing is able to be enabled. So you have to pick and choose for the PlayStation 5 what you want it for, for the Xbox what you want it for. Again, Xbox, you're buying it for clarity. That's it. But I don't recommend it because the Xbox does everything natively through its scaler. You don't need this device. Unless you truly, truly need that clarity on this monitor, go ahead. It's so cheap. You ain't gonna lose anything. Just try it and if you like it, you know. And if you get a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 down the road, It'll be a perfect device for the PlayStation 5 because with the PlayStation 5, it can do 4K 60, it can on the fly switch to 1080p 120 hertz, but you cannot use any kind of media because you need that HDCP on. And in order for this device to work, it needs to be off because it won't work if it's on. If that makes any sense, again, please feel free to ask any questions down below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I know I'm saying a lot of things. But that's why this video is a longer one because I am going to show you first we'll start off with PlayStation 5 then we'll go on to the Xbox Series S and then the X so you can see everything that I'm talking about so you can make an awesome informed buying decision and I highly recommend this for the PlayStation 5 not so much for the Xbox because the Xbox already can do everything but hey if you want that clarity it's a perfect awesome little cheap device you can't go wrong and remember this is a device that I'm showing you it works. It works for me. It's well built. It's sturdy. But again, your miles may vary, of course, with anything. So if it doesn't work, if you don't see, if you're not getting the performance that I'm showing you here, exchange it or return it because, you know, this is a new brand to me, so I don't know it specifically. But I can tell you for a fact, it works for me 100%. And it's an awesome option for us that have these next generation systems. In a future video, I will be showing media devices with this. I don't have my Roku on me right now, but I'll be able to test Roku, Apple TV, Fire Cube, all those media devices. I will try in another video to show you Netflix and Hulu. So I'll be able to show that in another video. But today we're gonna to stick with PlayStation 5 and Xbox series of consoles. So sit back, relax, and I hope this helps you to get that 4K signal on the Dell S2721 DGF because it's a beautiful LG Nano IPS monitor. And this is the thing that Dell needs to make sure the, these future monitors have a 4K signal acceptance because that would give many people the option to do many things, not just PC, but console gaming, media streamers to get that clarity and not be forced and be stuck at 1080p. But here showing Xbox Series S, showing you YouTube does work at 4K. Again, HDR does not work, even though the toggle is there, it doesn't do anything. I've tried it in the monitor on the Xbox to calibrate, nothing works. It just says your monitor TV does not work with HDR. Now, as you can see, 4K on YouTube right here, it's showing in the menu. I'm showing one of my videos on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. It's an awesome video on the QN98 TV. Now you can see here 4K, it shows all the options right there. If it wasn't in 4K, it wouldn't show, it wouldn't show this. It would be stuck at 1080p. It's showing you that it can show all those resolutions. And also with Netflix, I have been able to get it to work at 4K and of course the gaming. So, and you can easily see it's drastically different when you have a 4K signal versus a 1440p or 1080p signal. It is drastic. Now on the PlayStation 5, it was more drastic, right? Because it was a 1080p signal and you just bump it up all the way to 4K. It's a huge amount of difference that this monitor can display. 
but it's less so on the Xbox because again the Xbox is 1440p natively because the Xbox can do 1440p so 1440p to 4k I'd rather keep the 1440p 120 Hertz and have that option then have it here at 4K60 only without the option of 120 hertz. But anyway, here showing Ori at 4K60 hertz. Looks beautiful, it does look clear, I will give you that. It's just you have to give or take. Do you wanna lose that 120 hertz option because this device cannot do on the fly switching like it can on the PlayStation 5. But still, as a pure standpoint with 4K60 hertz, this game looks beautiful, it looks crystal clear. And if that's what you're looking for, you have it with this device and here just showing you how beautiful it looks just look at it it's clear everything's super clear I didn't see any lag any kind of glitches nothing like that and here going back into the menu as I'm trying to do different things here on screen trying to get that VRR to work but as you can see it's not working HDR does not work VRR does not work but we do have 4k 60 hertz. Now look what happens when I try to switch it to 120. For a millisecond, <laughs> for a couple of milliseconds, it shows 4K 120 hertz. I was like, yes, but nope, unfortunately it's not. This is not HDMI 2.1. It's not a converter or anything. And even if you do see a converter to HDMI 2.1, it doesn't matter. It won't work because it, the port at the actual, because the port from the console to the port of the actual monitor, they both need to be HDMI 2.1. A cable won't do anything. The Dell's port is an HDMI 2.0, so that will never get us to 4K 120. I do kind of wish this would have, and I'm trying, and here I'm just trying different things to get that VRR to work because that would have been a plus, especially here on this monitor. But unfortunately, everything that I do, even enabling YCC, doesn't even let me do that. Enabling YCC might help you with certain TVs and monitors, but still, it's no avail. HDR does not work, so I might as well leave it toggled off. For this device, you strictly want 4K 60Hz clarity on your Xbox on this 1440p only monitor. And this device is making the monitor read it correctly, switching it around so you could display a 4K signal. And as you can see, HDR unfortunately does not work. I've been trying all the presets here in HDR mode and still nothing changes, nothing flashes. Nothing happens, unfortunately. So the main thing here was I was trying to get VRR to work and it's not working. And I've been going back and forth, back and forth and nothing. So just wanted to show you guys here that I've been trying. And in case you guys had that question, hey, does that work? Does this work? I tried everything to get these specific things to work and nothing, unfortunately. And here we're going to try Xbox Series X with Netflix at 4K. As you can see, it does load up, something the PlayStation 5 wouldn't even let you do because you needed that HDCP in um, toggle enabled. But if you, if you guys are seeing this, go ahead and watch The Haunting of Bly Manor. It's one of my favorite movies or favorite, it's one of my favorite shows on Netflix. I love the acting. I love everything about it. It's really, really cool. And it's a nice ghost story. Ghost story, love story. It's really awesome. Here showing 4K. YouTube also this is on the Xbox Series X showing you all three systems it works on everything except the PlayStation of course but here let's watch one of my other videos Persona as you can see 4k is there on the screen so you can see 4k is on the screen and here I'll try to show you see 4k is enabled in the app itself and it's really clear you can tell the difference it's really clear so this is not no 1080p or 1440p this is this is a 4k image and one thing to note if i haven't said in the video already which i will put it in the description down below this device does not let you go down to 1440p that's kind of weird even though it says it in the description with the resolutions it only lets you do 4k 1080p and 720p like you saw in the, the in the resolution options so that's something to note it does not auto switch like the playstation does this on the xbox does not auto switch resolutions or hertz so that's a bummer also i'm just letting you guys know so you know the information but here rounding it off with mortal kombat on the xbox series x it's clear i mean it's super clear and if that's what you guys want you know clarity you can get it with this device and from all three systems, this Evanlock EDID HDMI pass-through emulator is an amazing 
little device that doesn't cost that much money and it's really cool to have these things and this will work on a wide variety of monitors so if your monitor currently does not allow you to get a 4k signal on your monitor right because it's a 1080p or 1440p i would highly suggest trying this device out and i bet you it'll work you know it can't be 100 percent but 99 percent it will work i've seen so many aw2721d monitors with the reviews on Amazon, man, that thing costs plus $800 and you can't get a 4K signal to work. It's ridiculous for Alienware or Dell or anyone not to enable that. The cool thing about the BenQs is the EX2510 1080p monitor hardware software wise accepts a 4K signal. Why can't these big brand expensive monitors handle a simple 4K switch, a simple 4K signal? It's ridiculous in a sense, but awesome that they make this device that now you don't have to pay that much money. It's nothing. It's next to nothing. and It'll breathe new life into your monitor. That's awesome. So look out if you do have other monitors, this will be the perfect ticket for you. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe if you do want to see more Dell S2721 DGF videos. And don't forget to see the playlist as I have more games and applications on this awesome monitor. Thanks guys.